So we're going to do one reading passage only for today. And then <clears throat> we're not going to time it much. Uh, and then we'll try to perfect it as much as we can. So this is for mini IELTS. Okay, so early adolescence, middle adolescence, and later adolescence. You know, I, I remember I did this already before. And then, so that's matching information. Seven to 10 is, okay, this is also matching information. So we're gonna link the statements with the choices here. And then finally, what we have here is the true false not given. Oh, only three, eh? only three, uh, three numbers, guys. Okay. So maybe we'll do this first because this one is easier to find. And so we now proceed to the reading passage and let's just jump. Let's jump to the their early adolescence. That's what we do. We jump, jump right away. So see early years. So Mm. See, look at this of middle adolescence. So this is early adolescence. I know, guys. Okay, this is how it goes. Ganun, guys. Huwag na kayo magbasa. Yung go straight to the reading uh, the questions and then uh, answer. Just look for the keyword, early adolescence. Ganun. So during the early years, young people make the first attempts to leave the dependent, secure role of a child and to establish themselves as unique individuals independent of their parents. Early adolescence is marked by rapid physical growth and maturation. The focus of adolescents' self-concepts is thus often on their physical self and their evaluation of their physical acceptability. Hmm. <clears throat> Early adolescence is also a period of intense conformity to peers. Oh, okay. Getting along, not being different, and being accepted seem somehow pressing to the early adolescent. The worst possibility from the view of the early adolescence is to be seen by peers as different. So, interested in the opposite sex? I did not see that. No, guys. Wala. Exposure to danger? Wala, no, guys. The same as others. What do you think? What do you think? Kasi, oh, ayun, oh, not being different. Oh, the worst possibility is to be seen as different. Oh, yun yun, di ba, guys? Tama, tama? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Tama yun. Okay. So, what we yes. recognize is that hindi naman lumalabas yung phrase, no? but the thought of it, di ba? So that's typically IELTS, right? I mean, the exact phrase doesn't come out, but the thought is there. And then beginning to form individual thinking without family context. Oh, that's here, oh. Oh. Independent of their parents. Or establish themselves as unique individuals, independent of the parents, right? Diba, guys? Totoo. Individual thinking yan, diba? Oh, unique individuals. Oh, individual. Oh, di ba? Panis. Yes, sir. Early adolescence. Yeah, early adolescence. Less need the approval of friends. Ah, no. Intellectual booming, wala akong nakita. So, the good news is we read already an entire paragraph. So, uh, maybe what we can do is we can just highlight it. Para uh, when we go back to it, it will be easy to recall. And that's just all about early years. And then, dito na tayo sa C. Middle adolescence is marked by the emergence of new thinking skills. So, i-highlight na, nat highlight na natin to, guys. So, it is easier to find. Uh, parang ito yun, oh. Pero let's read on. The intellectual world of the young person is suddenly greatly expanded. Their concerns about peers are more directed towards their opposite sex peers. Ay, you know. Ay, you know. Diba, guys? Winner. It is also during this period that the move to establish psychological independence from one's parents accelerates. Okay. Parang, 
kasi beginning to form to guys eh no so early adolescence yan no di ba pero here nag-accelerate na yan no di ba yun that's a time like mom mom i'm big enough ganun yeah. i don't need to ask permission for this mom ganun <laughs> Delinquency behavior may emerge. Ayuan! <laughs> Since parental views are no longer seen as absolutely correct by adolescents. Despite some delinquent behavior, middle adolescents disappear during which young people are oriented towards what is right and proper. They are developing a sense of behavioral maturity and learning to control their impulsiveness. Iniisip ko tong exposure to danger. Hindi naman nabanggit, no, guys? Diba? So that is clearly this one, no, guys? Tama? Yes, sir. Ayan eh, oh. Malina, oh. Okay. There. Your Honor, I appeal to the second paragraph. Ganun. That's how easy it is, guys. No? Let's need the approval of friends. Parang hindi naman lumabas. Itong interested in the opposite sex. Young one din, sir. I'm Middle sorry. Adolescence. Oh, yan din, no? Ayan, no? Mm-hmm. Your Honor, I appeal to the third sentence of the paragraph. It is as clear as day, Your Honor. There. So that is B. So if you notice, right, the, the exact terms do not come out. It's rephrased. That's IELTS. That's a very um, uh, uh, what's the term for it? That is a very identifiable pattern in the IELTS. They are very identifiable. They don't say the exact thing. They rephrase it. Parang listening test, di ba? And then exposure to danger did not come out. So maybe these two are already in C. No? I would assume. Kasi dalawa na yung B, di ba? So late adolescence na tayo, guys. So uh, it's marked by the final preparations for adult roles. The developmental demands of late adolescents often extend into the period that we think of as young adulthood. Late adolescents attempt to crystallize their vocational goals. I'm looking for friends and to establish a sense of personal identity. Are you now, guys? Yes, sir. Need for peer approval. Yes, approval. And they are largely psychologically independent from their parents, the shift to adulthood is nearly complete. So I do not see see yun. Yung danger, hindi ko makita, guys. Did you see it? Baka ito? Hindi. So guys, I don't find it. So later na lang siya. No? Pero take note of that word, that danger. Baka nasa A, guys. The American Academy of Pediatrics recognizes three stages of adolescence. So let's underline that, guys. Yeah. These are early, middle, and late adolescents, and each has its own developmental tasks. Teenagers move through these tasks at their own speed depending on the physical development and hormone levels. Although these t- stages are common to all teenagers, each child will go through them in his or her own highly individual ways. Okay, I don't see danger. Yung ba yun, yung being viewed as different? Yung ba yung danger? Hindi naman danger yun. Hindi ba ito, delinquency behavior? Um, tingin ko yan, sir. Delinquency Parang behavior. yan, ano? So, middle adolescence ulit. Di ba? Okay. Oh, let's come up with a tentative answer. No? So, B ulit yan. Wala na akong makita ng danger. Yun yun, delinquency and danger. 
Okay, sige. Let's move on. And then one of Happy Gert's research. Ayan. High school courses. Adolescence is a time when young people blank. Hindi ba yun? Nasa A yata o. Parang ang, ang ano ng A is it introduces the three stages. Pero mostly it's talking about how they move at their own speed. Sa akin yun ang A. No? Parang ganun. Diba? Highly individual ways. Diba? Sa akin, that's the central message of the first paragraph. So, let's see. Adolescence is a time when young people... Ayun, the developmental speed of uh, thinking patterns. Okay. Parang hindi eh. Thinking patterns, mamaya pa siguro yan. Adolescence is a time when young people form personal identity with a set of morals and values. Pwede, no? Ito yun, no? Diba? They have their own sense of right and wrong. Diba, guys? So, possibly, A yun, no? Develops a table and productive peer relationships. Are designed to be more challenging that some can accept. Varies from people to people. Pwede rin to, guys. Varies from people to people. Ah, kaya lang iba yung grammar, guys. Napansin nyo. Adolescence is a time when young people varies from people to people. Mali. Focuses on creating a self-image. So, grammar ulit yan, guys. Young people... Kung yan yung sagot, dapat focus lang yun. Young people focus on creating a self-image. Young people become an extension of their parents. Ah, mali. Ito yun. Sa akin yun yun, guys. Malino. For me, di ba? Ando na yun. It's very clear. Di ba, Your Honor? I appeal to paragraph C. Second to the left sentence, Your Honor. Yun yun. It cannot be this one kasi mali yung grammar. Pati yung ito. Kasi people, guys, kung yan yun, vary lang yun. Vary. Ganun. Diba, guys? So, lumabas nga to, varies. Kaya lang mali yung grammar when people, when young people varies. Huh? Mali. Itong focuses on creating a self-image is possible. Lumabas yan eh. Kaya lang the grammar is wrong. Diba guys? So I'm sure this is this one, no? Form. Oh, you know, walang S yung verb, oh. Yun. Do you follow? So minsan nag-check siya ng grammar, no? This is subject-verb agreement, eh. People form. Ano? Yung the only time you add S to a verb is when the subject is he, she, or it. No? He, she, it. Yung people, they yun, they. Oh. Do you follow, guys? So that's how we detect the trap. No? So parang, okay, it's a trapper. Itong dalawa, they did come out, but the grammar is wrong. There. Do you follow, people? And then, I don't think we can extract any more answer from that. So, let's go, now go through this. No, itong tatlong to. Si Habigers. <coughs> Do you follow, guys? <coughs> Ayan na si Habigers. Some years ago, Professor Robert Habigers of the University of Chicago proposed that stages in human development can best be thought of in terms of the developmental tasks that are part of the normal transition. He identified 11 developmental tasks associated with the adolescent transition. One development task an adolescent needs to achieve is to adjust to a new physical sense of self. Pwede to, guys. Self-image. At no other time since birth does an individual undergo such rapid and profound physical changes as during early adolescence. Puberty is marked by sudden rapid growth in height and weight. 
Also, the young person experiences the emergence and accentuation of those physical traits that make him or her a boy or girl. The effect of this rapid change is that young adolescents, dapat yun, a young adolescent often becomes focused on his or her body. So yun yun, guys. No? Diba? Very clear now, guys. Self yes, sir. Diba? In your honor, I appeal to paragraph E. Self-image. Diba? Oh, you know, a sense of self, your honor, it's as clear as day. Diba? E. Okay, let's try to find. Hindi naman ito. Hindi naman yun. Hindi yan. Ano itong table? Okay. Sige. Then, high school courses in developmental speed of thinking patterns. Saan ba yung high school courses na yun? Ayun o, high school. Yes! Before adolescence, children's thinking is dominated by the need to have a concrete example for any problem that they solve. Oh, I see. Dapat may example muna. Their thinking is constrained to what's real and physical. During adolescence, young people can begin to recognize and understand abstractions. The adolescents must adjust to increase cognitive demands at school. Part three, young guys, so abstraction of the speaking test, so abstracts. Adults see high school in part as a place where adolescents prepare for adult roles and responsibilities and in part as preparatory for further education. School curricula are frequently dominated by the inclusion of more abstract demanding material, regardless of whether the adolescents have achieved formal thought. Since not all adolescents make the intellectual transition at the same rate, demands for abstract thinking prior to achievement of that ability may be frustrating. Okay, so abstract na nga. You learn to think abstractly. This is what we're doing. We're doing abstract thinking. So that is yun, guys. Ito yun. Diba? It varies from people to people. Look, oh. Not all adolescents make the intellectual transition at the same rate. Diba, guys? Correct? Yes, sir. Diba? Your Honor, I appeal to the final sentence of paragraph F. It's as clear as day, Your Honor. Only a blind man can see it, Your Honor. <laughs> okay. Mm, varies from people to people. Ito na lang, high school courses. Form personal identity. We answered that already. A table and productive peers are designed to make, to be more challenged. Ayun, guys. Diba? Malino eh. Oh, look, oh. look, school curricula are dominated by the inclusion of more abstract demanding material regardless of whether the adolescents have achieved formal thought. You know, you know. Oh, di ba guys? Yun yun. It's the same thing. Correct? Tama-tama? Oh, sir. Yan, letter C. Ayun yun, no. Ayun, no. That one courses. is that one. Oh, it's the same. Yan. That is abstract thinking, guys. Uh, it is not simplistic. No? Okay. You are not, your thinking is not constrained to what is real and physical. We are in the world of abstracts, diba? We are in the world of meaning. We are playing with the notion of meaning. So yung meaning neto, Uh, wait, where is it? Ayan o, oh, yung meaning niyan. Ayan, yan, yan. Lahat yan. Yung meaning niyan is the same as this one. Do you understand? Pero talagang walang similar words, di ba? Pero the meaning is the same. Do you follow, guys? That's IELTS. Okay? All right. We're down to our last three. The adolescents. Lacks the ability to think abstractly. Parang. Mm, 
lacks the ability to think abstractly. Ay nakalagay dito, not all adolescents make the intellectual transition at the same rate. Tapos yun nakalagay, lacks the ability to think abstractly. What's the answer? True, false, not given. What you think? Parang mali sa akin to eh. False, sir. False. False yun. Kasi sabi niya, demands for abstract, tapos may lacks. lacks. Oh. Kasi not all adolescents naman eh. Oh. False yun. Clearly false yun. Hindi naman sinabing lacks the ability. Pero binanggit, no? Given siya. Pero sa it's either true or false lang. Di ba? Kasi the first question we ask is given ba siya or hindi? Eh, given talaga sa akin yun. Eh. So, true or false na lang yun. Hindi, impossible namang true. Di ba? False yan. Adolescents may have a deficit in their language ability. We might three paragraphs pa. During adolescence, as teens develop increasingly complex knowledge systems and a sense of self, they also adopt an integrated set of values and morals. During the early stages of moral development, parents provide their child with a structured set of rules of what is right and wrong. Parang ito yun. What is acceptable and unacceptable? Eventually, the adolescents must assess the parents' values as they come into conflict with values expressed by peers and other segments of society. To reconcile differences, the adolescent restructures those beliefs into a personal ideology. Hmm. Adolescence is a time when young people develops. Hindi hmm. ito, guys. Mali yung grammar, eh. Young people develop yun. Okay. Iniisip ko yun, no? table. Anyway. Pero we're still looking for language. The adolescent must develop expanded verbal skills. Here we go! As adolescents mature intellectually as they face increased school demands and as they prepare for adult roles, they must develop new verbal skills to accommodate more concepts and tasks. Diba, guys? That's what we drill for in the aisles. We're building vocabulary. The limited language of childhood is no longer adequate. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Yeah. Why say use when you can say utilize? Diba? Adolescents may appear less competent because of their inability to express themselves meaningfully. Do they have a deficit in their language ability? I may have a deficit. Tingnan mo to, ah. May appear less competent because of their inability to express themselves meaningfully. Do you understand, guys? What's the answer? What you think? True, true yun, it's the true, same sir, thing, true. diba? It's abstract thinking. Diba? Yes, sir, true. True yun. Yun, that's why we're building vocabs. Yung word of the day, mag-enter naman kayo, oh my God. Okay. Parang what was the last word of the day? Pugnacious. Queasy. What else? Um... You gotta enter. You gotta enter sentences for these guys so that you won't forget those words. Because the limited language of childhood is no longer adequate. Don't use. You are using words from kindergarten, kaya. You know, guys, it's time to use academic vocabularies. So not given a young guys. Oh, the adolescents experience a transition from the life. Sure. True yan, sir. True. true. Sa letter I. Sa letter I, sir. The adolescents must establish emotional and psychological independence from his or her parents. Childhood is marked by strong dependence on one's parents. Adolescents may yearn to keep that secu safe, secure, supportive, dependent relationship. Yet to be an adult implies a sense of independence, of autonomy, of being one's own person. Ngayon, alam mo ang gagawin ko. I'm gonna copy paste all of this 
and I'm gonna send it to the students. Like, guys, you're so pa baby. Diba? It's time for you to become independent. Diba? Oh, diba, guys? Why don't you form your own speaking bubbles? Do you need me to do that? Ganon! But the midnight bubble, ang sipag nila, guys. Kaya you join the midnight bubble, they really take charge of their own pace. <clears throat> they, there is no coach in the midnight bubble. Adolescents may vacillate between the desire for dependence and their need to be independent in, a, in an attempt to assert their need for independence and individuality. Adolescents may respond with what appears to be hostility and a lack of cooperation. There. See, see, we didn't, we didn't even read J and we didn't even need A. Okay, let's see. Submit. Bandain. Oh, we had one mistake. Terrible. I can't accept this, guys. Only a band line is acceptable. Ha <laughs> We got that wrong. Why? Why? Early adolescence exposure to danger. Oh, nga, dito tayo nahirapan sa danger. Nasaan ba doon? Wala kaya. Secure on pa. Oh my God. Ito yun, guys. Oh. Iyan yun. Damn, man. So this is physical growth. Self-concepts. Physical acceptability. Conformity to peers. Getting along. Not to be viewed as different. Iyan yun, guys. They are leaving. Make the first attempts to lead the dependent secure role of a child. Oh my God, man. That's the one. Damn, man. You got us, Isles. I can't believe. And then we were looking at this delinquency behavior may emerge. So the answer is there, guys. Team, we were trapped. Team, I can't accept it. Next time, Isles, I'm gonna get ya. But guys, I think it was right for us. We had some basis for answering B because of the word delinquency. So to us, delinquent behavior is exposure to danger, right? Diba, diba, diba? Yun. So that was A. Tatlo yung A, guys. Tatlo yung A. Tatlo yung A, dalawa yung B, isa lang yung C. Pero ganun, guys, or it's just that phrase. My God. Parang writing to guys. Remember Cardinal Rule 2? The most important rule in IELTS writing. Darn. Anyway, we learned a lesson from that one. Pero alam mo, actually, yeah, this is... When, when I saw exposure to danger, I was thinking early adolescence. Kasi nga, di ba? Exposure to danger early, di ba? When you're middle adolescent or later, di ba? You tend to be more... You know, you're older, right? You're less... Exposed to danger, di ba? I couldn't find it. Nandun pala siya, man. Oh my God, man. The secure role of a child. <laughs> Kaling mo, Isles. I respect you, Isles. Okay, so let's stop the recording. Can you take a screenshot, guys? Can you take a screenshot? Send it to me, please. Take a screenshot, please. Guys. Wait. 